Smith, let's hit this. All right, so like I said, I think I might have found the driver van. Now, I'm not big into this stuff because, um, let's be honest, when I first started getting into this stuff, everyone's pushing, you're this tribe, you're this tribe, you're this tribe. But when I sat back and started thinking about things and looking into myself, I had questions and questions weren't answered. It just turned into arguments. I feel that some of the Bible camps, they would say, oh, you're this tribe and you're this tribe, but they always were overlooking the indigenous people in the lands where they were saying, you're this tribe and you're this tribe, and they were giving it to the people that have now conquered the land that walk around saying that, you know, they're of this land. So I, I just got away from that because to me it wasn't right. But anyways, um, we all know about this. This mother saying that, you know, from whatever version you read, you know, that when she had him, she was vindicated, you know, um, and his name was to me that, you know, God had judged her, you know. And uh, obviously he, you know, looked well upon her because she had a son and, or had a child, you know. So, um, we, you know, they do a good job of leaving uh, some verses here where we can look up some stuff uh, later on. But what I want to get into uh, trying to make this video as short as possible, not trying to take up too much of your time, was this part. Because um, this is something that I've spoke to Arthur, um, King Arthur Scott about. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean, all right? This part about the coastal, all right, them having land along the coastline. This is something that sticks out to me because before I figured this out or came across this, I've always asked if we have a new, uh, was it Papua New Guinea? Where's the old Guinea? And I looked it up, you know, there's, they, they say, say there's five Guineas, including Papua New Guinea. So, uh, just a question I was trying to figure out where's Guinea, right? And this is what I came well, this is what I came across, right? I ended up with this, right? The French owned Guinea. The French and the Dutch, they always stand out wherever um, my research is taking me that they are there, you know. And I know there's more players. I know there, you know, there's a lot more than just that. But uh, the French and the Dutch keep popping up. So you have this Guinea, right? And you have an a one in Africa, you know, there's, I believe this is right here. This is the uh, Dutch owned Guinea, but I don't have time for that. Let me see. Then you have Puapa, right? We all know about Puapa. Solomon Sea, Solomon Islands, you know, Negro, where is it? Negro Island, where is it? Right over here. It's right with the Philippines, right? But I'm getting veering off course real quick. Where was it? Um, I don't know. I can always look it up later. It was Negro Island. I know it's in the Philippine area. But anyways. Um, let's see. What was I thinking? About? Oh, yeah. Guinea, right? So it says that he was going to have land along the coast, right? So this is what I'm saying. Go back over here. He's got a portion of the region along the coast, right? And we might, I mean, it might be, I'm not sure, but this might be all of his, right? And then leading back up to the Panama. But anyways, just wanted to point that out, that it is along the coastline. And I think that he might, that tribe might have been taken out of there and moved uh, as much as possible. All right, let's see here. Come on now. My computer wants to freeze up. Um, all right, so this is what I got, right, when I tried looking it up um, in multiple ways. This name that I'm, a, the, the name here, Dene, there. And it, it look, this is, I think this is a flat out lie, right? Because they're going to say, all right, means uh, God is my judge, right? But it says that it, it, its origin is in English, all right? And this is why I say that. Go back here, and it's gonna say, this is a Hebrew name, right? So, 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 which one comes first, Hebrew or or, or English? Hebrew does, so we can eliminate English because Hebrew is one of the newer languages, right? Well, check this out here. Here they go. All right, there they are. Now remember that that back there said, uh, what was it? God is uh, God will judge, or God is judge, and. This is what I'm talking about. Kind of looks like he's from Australia. <laughs> but these are some of the people I'm reading. I mean, and I'll leave this all in the description box because they talk about uh, the wars that they have with the other people. And they say that they actually, see here, look here. 
this is where they say they got their money. Right? And I almost thought that was Ball for some reason. Ball, Ballum, Ballim, Ballim. Right? So I thought that name was familiar. But I don't. I might just be seeing the stuff or whatever. But like I said, I'm not the only one apparently that thought that they this might be, you know, what we were looking for. Um, as far as the tribes is concerned. Uh, where was it? There was a piece down here. Oh, uh, well. Anyways, let me see if I can end this with a video real quick. Mm. Let me see. There was a video that was really good. Tudor Parfit from Florida International University. We've just got back from a trip to Papua New Guinea visiting a Judaizing tribe called the Gogodala. The research that I've been doing on the, uh, on the Gogodala feeds into work I've been uh, doing for many, many years on similar Jewish movements or Judaizing movements throughout the world. It was really a pretty surreal trip from the moment that we arrived in, in um, Port Moresby. We were singing songs and waving banners of welcome and this kind of extraordinary image pursued us throughout the whole trip. So we took an army plane uh, a couple of days later which took us right into the middle of the western jungle of, um, of, of the western province in Papua New Guinea and uh, the same thing happened. The army plane dropped us in the middle of a vast field and immediately there were hundreds of people with banners and Israeli flags and yamalkas and so on. But this was in the middle of the, of the jungle in one of the most remote and primitive places on the face of the earth. <laughs> this is not the only uh, group that thinks that they're lost tribes of Israel. Uh, it's it's a kind of uh, it's a phenomenon in the area, and according to my own research, my own theory, it's a global phenomenon. So, and I very much hope that they will be able to um, receive some kind of sustenance from uh, from the links that they may create with other groups, such as the Igbo in, in Nigeria or the, the Lembo in Zimbabwe, many other groups throughout the world who believe themselves to be Israelites and who are still somewhere between Judaism and Christianity, but have called themselves Israelites. They believe themselves to be Israelites. And the Gogodala really are the same phenomenon. And that's done by Florida International University. I thought it was pretty cool. Shout out to Florida. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, just leave your comments if you think that uh, we're on to something or what, you know, just uh, or check it out. You don't have to always comment. So anyways, much love and take care, everyone. All right. Peace out.